Investors and welcome back to Bet or Forget. I'm Ryan Cook and joining me from my neck of the woods, it's Declan Jones. Declan, huge weekend of racing to recap. We're going to go back to Tuesday though, Knight's Choice. Do you think his win was best for the future of the Melbourne Cup? That's going to be a forget for me, for Knight's Choice. I'm not just speaking out of my pocket, mate. Look, I'm stoked for Connections, I'm stoked for Sheila Lax and I'm stoked for Robbie Dolan. But realistically, is he the people's horse? Is he a Group 1 champion, superstar? I don't think so. Look, for me, the most important thing was that all of the horses got through the race in one piece. It's our most watched race each and every year, and that's the most important thing, I think, for the future of the Melbourne Cup, that they all get through it. I tend to agree with you there, mate. I'm going to say forget as well, mainly because for someone like me that spends my life doing the form, that might be the most frustrating result I've seen in a Melbourne Cup for a very long time. How could you find it? <laughs> exactly. Let's go forward to Saturday. Venus Sestina. Should she take on Royal Ascot again? Bet or forget? Oof, that is one hell of a bet for me, mate. I was lucky enough to be down in Mooney Valley for the Cox Plate when she put them to the absolute sword. And if she took that sort of form overseas at Royal Ascot in a race like the Prince of Wales Stakes over 10 furlongs, she'd be incredibly hard to beat. And I really like that because it boosted credibility of our greatest way for age race, the Cox Plate. And, you know, sticks a proverbial middle finger to those in the Northern Hemisphere who like to have a bit of a crack at our middle distance ranks. We've lined up again here, mate. I'm going to say bet. And I love the fact, too, that she's won over 1,400 metres here in Australia now. So she's got options if she goes overseas again. Last but not least, I think this is a very, very easy one. James McDonald, 11 winners during the Melbourne Cup Carnival. Is he the GOAT? Better forget. Look, he's a freak. He's phenomenal. But for me, that's a forget. He's not the GOAT yet. James McDonald, his nickname is J-Mac, not the GOAT. That's fully reserved for Damien Oliver as it stands right now. That could very well change in the future, absolutely. He's on that path, but right now he's not the GOAT. Yeah, I'm going to say forget as well. He's only 32, so there's plenty of room for him to go on and be the GOAT, and I think he will, but I want to see him win a Caulfield Cup first. All right, Declan, great as always, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ryan. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.